kings and queens, this is your girl Maya. We're back with another video. Um, yeah, so y'all ain't seen the new, the new girl. We, um, we like her. She's temporary. Literally did something to throw in my head when I go to the grocery store or whatever. Um, it's summer and I don't feel like, um, buying my crochet yet. But anyway, <clears throat> y'all, this video, real quick. It is just, I also am looking at my computer, sorry y'all, because I'm editing a video right now. This video is just an update video, because I think the last update I did was 13 to 15 weeks or something like that. So this is going to be, let me look at my book, hold up, hold up, because y'all know I'll be writing this stuff down, trying to, where did it go? Okay, this video is supposed to be 13 to 17, but I'm already 19. So we're just going to do <laughs> 13 to 19 weeks right now. And the next video will be 20 to maybe like 30. I'm going to try to do this before these people come out here and start power washing my house, okay? <clears throat> anyway, um, so it's real quick. 13 to 19 has been basic. Um, nothing really new happening, which I'm super blessed about. I haven't really been sick. No morning sickness still, so I'm probably not going to get it because I think I'm over it. Actually, I've been losing weight. <laughs> Went to the doctors and she was like, um, you've lost like five pounds. And I was like, oh. She was like, you've been sick? I'm like, no. So I've just been losing weight because I'm losing weight. And... Um, so yeah, I've been losing weight <clears throat> and living my best life, you know, preparing for baby, I'm trying to, I keep buying things. I need to stop buying things because I'm also planning my own baby shower. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I haven't been sick though. I have my 20 week ultrasound next week. You hear my mom, my brother fussing. Ignore. Ignore. Um. Yeah. Oh, heartburn. That's been the only thing. I've had a lot of heartburn, but only when I eat meat and like certain foods. So I've been staying away from meat, which is probably why I'm losing weight. Is because I've only really been eating fruit and vegetables, like lots of salads. I eat salads all the time. Um, I haven't really been eating my chicken nuggets like I was because I just don't even want to risk getting heartburn. So as soon as I eat something and I feel like I'm getting heartburn from it, I don't eat it again because even though everyone's like, you can do Tums, you can take medicine or whatever for it. I'm just like, I'd rather just not, <laughs> I'd rather just not eat it. It's not that big of a deal. I just won't eat it. So like, um, the cinnamon sticks that we had, like French toast sticks, I stopped eating those because they used to give me heartburn. Meat. So I just like stay away from it. Sometimes I'll eat a taco or I'll get something with meat in it, but it won't bother me. But if I eat something and it bothers me, I won't eat it again. Lots of potatoes, lots of salads. Salads all the time, french fries all the time, mashed potatoes all the time. I'll stop what I'm doing, go to Wawa, get mashed potato, a cup of mashed potatoes and just like be hype. Okay, like I literally just went all the way to Mo's to get a cup of queso. It's back there. Um... <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I don't, I don't really eat that much. Um, not really a lot of ice creams. No, I do have an ice cream cone, like, every now and then, but not much. Yeah, lots of fruits and veggies, though. Um, I don't know what else is there to say about 13 to 19 weeks. Uh, like I said, I can't stop buying things. <laughs> I bought so much stuff. Because I already know the gender. I know the gender because I paid and did like this ultrasound that does like a sneak peek, but it was like one of those 3D ultrasounds, so I know the gender. But my doctor doesn't know that I know the gender yet, because I'm just like, well, what if I go to the doctors and she tells me another gender, then I'm gonna be like, oh. <laughs> so I'm waiting until my next doctor's appointment and they do that the ultrasound to see what they say. But I pretty much already know the gender, so I've been buying stuff, but um, I really don't care about like gender norms I wanted to know the gender for name purposes because it was stressing me out that I had boy names ready but I didn't have any girl names 
ready so I was like well if I, it's a boy then I'm good but if it's a girl then I'm like super stressed I'm still trying to figure it out so that's why I wanted to know the gender so I could like focus on names because I'm such an indecisive person um yeah but as far as clothes like I have a bunch of clothes that some people have sent me clothes that are like specific to the gender um but I like don't care like even if it's like even if I went to the doctors and they were like oh so it's actually this I would still put my baby in whatever like I would have a daughter and put her in clothes that say like cute little dude I don't care and I have a son and put him in pink and put him in clothes that say like pretty princess I do they can't read <laughs> it's a baby the baby can't read it they don't care what it's wearing as long as it got clothes on it don't care so that doesn't bother me <laughs> at all okay um so i'm not pressed like i said i really want to know the gender for name purposes and for like medical purposes of like if it's a boy c-section i mean not c-section a uh, circumcision if it's a girl i don't know <laughs> just like just knowing ahead of time i can't wait until the day of and be like what is it um yeah honestly pregnancy is mad boring because well for me because i don't have a bump i have no bump y'all i'm not even gonna stand up and embarrass you and embarrass myself to like show you a bump because i don't have a bump i literally look like me like i could pose in a picture and you'd be like oh but my clothes are fitting different so like my jeans i try to wear a pair of jeans and i was like are you trying to kill me um like with I could button them and zip them and all that but it was just like wearing them I was like I'm gonna die so jeans but like my clothes all fit I have no bump whatsoever so I'm waiting patiently for my bump hopefully it comes at 20 weeks or 21 or 22 I don't really know but hopefully it comes soon because your girl really wants to have a bump so I can just be like, look at my bump. And so that I can be like, you know, in the stores. Um, because technically I could be doing early morning shopping at like Aldi's and ShopRite. They have like special times for people who are pregnant and people who are old. Like people who are more likely to contract this virus or whatever, I guess. Or are, um, I don't know what I'm trying to say, like more prone or whatever. Um, so I could be going in the stores early and getting that good that good shopping, okay? But I feel some type of way because I don't look pregnant. I don't need nobody trying to be like, girl, you're not pregnant. So if I have a bump, don't nobody ask no questions. <laughs> it's there. I'm super jealous when I see girls in the stores with their bumps. And I'm like, oh, you know, we're twins, but I don't have a bump. <laughs> you don't even know. But me and you are the same girl. But yeah. Yeah, so don't have a bump. So that's sad. So if you're a girl like me, or you've been pregnant before, or you're pregnant right now, and you're like really far along, like 20 weeks or 21, 22 weeks or something, and you don't have a bump, God feel you because that's me. I have no bump. <laughs> um, which also makes me sad because I'm just trying to look for like maternity people, take my maternity shoots. My best friend is a photographer, so she is going to do my maternity photo shoot. But I also just been looking to see if I want to do two maternity photo shoots. Um, but I don't want to do them if I don't have a bump. Because I already know where I want to put them. Like, they're going to be hanging up on my walls by the baby's bed so that they're like, look at my mama. But if I don't have a bump, y'all, I really want these done and I really want them to look a certain way. So if I don't have a bump, I'm going to go on Amazon and order one of those, like, fake pregnancy bumps and wear that for my shoot because your girl needs a bump. <laughs> um yeah that's where i'm at that's what life's been like that's my update no sickness nails been growing like crazy hair has been growing i think my actual hair y'all because this ain't it uh skin's been cool but my skin's always cool no growing up no i think my face is fat look how fat my face is um yeah that's what it is so thanks for watching it's been really great 
if you're new here hey girl hey um welcome subscribe don't forget to comment down below you know tell me some stories about when you were pregnant um and how you were in these weeks or if you feel like i'm super blessed because <laughs> i feel like i am in terms of like sickness and stuff like sometimes i get light headed when i stand up but rarely okay like i'm chilling so um comment and tell me some maybe some horror stories or and I'm also starting to look for like pediatricians and things. So tell me what things you were doing at this time to get ready. Because sometimes I feel like I'm not doing enough. Like I feel like I should be doing more things to pray, prepare for the baby. And I'm like not doing anything. So t tell me some comments of like things that you would do to prepare. Or things you have done in the past to prepare. <laughs> and yeah, thanks for watching. It's been great. Bye kings and queens. Stay blessed. Stay healthy. And stay safe out there, y'all. Coronavirus ain't no joke. Oh,